Hey guys, and welcome to another week. Another week, another Titan tries. This time, we're going to be having a look at the demo for Beyond Hanwell, which is a survival horror game, and it's giving me sort of Resident Evil 7 slash condemned criminal origins vibes and that is something that i am incredibly into let's just say i i can mess with this going from the description anyway so the description is on steam step into hanwell and discover a world beyond it set in the deeper parts of london explore westminster and uncover the truth about the enigma enigmatic stranger known as the director fight with whatever you can find or use the environment to take out anonymous hmm okay okay interesting so this is made by a indie company it's another indie game and i like these indie games you know i'm more into these indie games to be honest these days than i am triple a games there's a lot of good stuff so it's an action, well, the actual genre, according to the developer, is action adventure. Curious. It's developed and created by Steel Art Software. So, the bullet points we have here explore a rich atmospheric take on Westminster and its various locations, filled with lore and secrets to discover. All new dual control melee combat system. Land each hit and combo with satisfying, satisfyingly intensity. Ah, uh, okay. Scavenge, scarce, but available weapons and ammo with new shooting mechanics. Use the environments in creative ways to take out the anomalies, set them on fire, electrocute them, crush them, and in more frantic efforts to survive. Follow the story in your own way. Non-linear open gameplay makes for a unique experience. Splice yourself with anonymous DNA and gain otherworldly abilities. Interesting. So it almost sounds like a Bioshock sort of feel as well. Okay. Immersive. All player feedback is displayed in game with no HUD whatsoever to keep the player immersed and the tensions high. Curious. Um, yeah. I, I'm liking the sound of this. This is a free demo. Uh, I've never heard of this game before. It's only when I was browsing for horror demos on stream, uh, on stream, on Steam, I actually uh, came across this. Uh, it seems to have been doing somewhat fairly well as well. So let's have a little look, shall we? And explore Hanwell, I guess, or at least the demo. So I'm guessing we're going to be starting off with maximum amounts of motion blur. Let's see. Oh dear, what's this? Certainly not seen this before. Motion blur, no thanks. Uh, okay. That's better. Oof. I am not a fan of uh, motion blur at all. It's, I don't know, sometimes it's not bad, but other times it's really distracting. So yeah, very much condemned kind of criminal origins vibes. Um, maybe a little bit of zombie U action going on, being set in London and all that, which is cool. Somewhat detailed environments. What have we got here? The only way out of the hospital was through containment. A friend. Okay, friend. Oh. Ooh. So we can kick an ass or two. I'm a fan of that. Sprinting into closed doors will kick them open. Good. Worth knowing. We're getting a lot of stutter because of course we are. It's a PC game and PC games uh, out the gate these days are broken. I guess we're going to have that. We're going to have to deal with a bit of screen tearing, or is that going to clear it up? There we go. Yeah, PC games these days are just full of stutter. Oh, God, it's still stuttering. 
The flashlight battery level is indicated by the green lights on its side. Okay, so we have limited flashlight battery because of course we do. Control, crouch. Ooh, evening. How goes you, sir? So, storage manifest. One 63 amp fuse. 24 boxes of burn away. Eight hypodermic needles. Five emergency MREs. Replacement ICU cards. And non slip paint. I. Perhaps if I had something to pry this off. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to find a crowbar. And we are getting horrible stuttering. Basement key. So quickly change direction. Hold down the direction you want to go and then hold down the sprint button. This can be useful if you need to quickly turn around and run away. Oh, we don't like running away. Okay, so how does that work then? Oh. So it's not actually... Oh, no, that... Oh, I mean... Mm. Okay, that's a little bit odd. So I'm guessing... Our flashlight's going to recharge itself. And we've found ourselves a stone, so I'm guessing we're going to be throwing things at enemies. The workbench is unavailable for the teaser. Use the workbench to turn raw materials into useful items. All right, so we've got crafting. Crafting, I should say. Because, you know, of course we do. So that's the basement key. Gotcha. I mean, it looks nice and mysterious. It controls a little bit weird, though, but I think that's more to do with all of the stutter that we're getting. So you have some air conditioning down here, which is quite nice. Yeah, they really need to sort this stutter out on PC games. It's ridiculous. such a turn off see what I mean like that should have been a pretty interesting thing but of course as soon as the sparks fly the game stutters to a halt so you know it doesn't really do much for me I'm gonna be honest okay okay oh we can kick the doors open even if we can't open them manually Guessing we need a f 68 amp or 63 amp fuse. All right. It's not safe. Something. All right. Well, it's not safe. I mean, I can't see anything apart from large quantities of stutter at the moment, so. I like the environment. British Ministry of Council Governance. This area is now under the control of the BMCG. All correspondence, uh, responsibility and accountability that would usually be directed at your council should now be directed at your BMCG representative. All anonymous activities should be reported via your usual enforcement representative uh, who will now report directly. Okay, cool. We've got a glow stick. I'm guessing that's for when our torch runs out. Of which, okay, a torch is already nearly dead. The director will be here tomorrow morning. Let's not keep him waiting. There's been breathing down my neck since the doctor was killed in Hanwell. Oh. Okay. Looks like this would be very easy to break. A little bit something like that. First aid kit. Our chief research officer has politely requested that we do not take on new patients. Not enough food. People are hungry. And people are dying, she says. This gives me an idea. Why can one of the issues not solve the other? 
Well, so people are dying, so we're going to feed the corpses to the living. I mean, you know, when needs must, certainly sounds like something. Opened a door, but hey, what do I know? Can we, no, put the flashlight back. Access denied. So we can't do anything with the tr control panel. Mort. We need to be sure we aren't taking on healthy new patients. We barely have enough food to feed the sick ones. People are hungry and people are dying. Anna. Hello, Mort. Apply now and enter our draw for a chance to win one whole year of Black Window Home Protection Platinum. Black Window Home Protection includes state-of-the-art detection and warning systems. Ultra reinforced anomaly doors, repellent and defense combat systems. Apply now. We hope to hear from you soon. Black Window Sales Team. Wait, so is this like countrywide or okay. I'm not really sure what's going on. Can we not see the next one? Theater and containment. Dear all. I usually like to take ha the, uh, a hands-off approach to all ministry inst uh, institution affairs. However, recent events cannot be ignored. As of today, I'm mandating that all operating theatre and containment facilities be moved to the lowest levels of the hospital. Most critical patients are suffering illness of anonymous nature. You cannot continue to risk routine patients by trying to keep critical patients comfortable. Surgery may become less comfortable, but it will be safer. Uh, safe, safer. Um, productive citizens are to be given priority. Okay, so I'm guessing this is like a country-wide thing, or at least in Hanwell. Interesting. So we can't just use our flashlight willy-nilly either, because it looks like it... It is running out and it's not recharging. So straight away as a mechanic, I don't like batteries, I guess. Is that, oh right, so this is the, ah, uh, okay. Can be used to refill the torch, really? Ugh, okay. Use the inventory to assign items to quick use buttons by highlighting the desired item and pressing it into the corresponding quick use button. Sure. Got some bullets. Two pistol ammo. Well, I like two pistol ammo. I just wish we had a two pistol uh, weapon to use them in. We've been seeing an increase in anonymous activity here recently. I've left a gun in the safe just in case. I will not write down the code. Remember it. DM. Well, thanks, DM, but I kind of need the code, because now I have five bullets and no gun to use. I met Mort today for the first time. Apparently, he came in from Hellmore during the last evacuation. But I find him weird. The way he speaks, his sentences don't really flow, and he has a funny way of breathing. Hmm. Just doing my exercises. Okay, so Mort seems to be a bit of a strange gentleman. Now, where was this safe? I guess we haven't actually found the safe yet. We haven't found anything that we can really use as a weapon either. Which is unfortunate. It's a wheelchair. I don't think we can use the wheelchair as a safe. Way of travel. Okay, so that's actually, the red light is creating sound, which is curious. And it appears that the sound is getting louder and faster, which, Definitely is not something to be concerned about. Yeah, that just sounds like standard noise. Background noise. 
really is dark here, though. The sound design, to be honest with you, is kind of on point. I'm a fan. Alright, well. I guess that weird hallway awaits us. Let's go have a little look, shall we? Now, does the teddy bear have anything for us? I mean, he's mouldy. He's got his stuffing ripped out. Poor teddy. Ah. Curious. Well, that doesn't look good, does it? Looks like something straight out of Silent Hill. Yeah, these torch... Batteries are not going to be lasting at all, are they? There is nothing for you here. Well, I'll be the judge of that, Sonny Jim. Okay, what would be nice would be like a map or something. I'm guessing we're going to have some gribbly bastard jump out on us. Oh, we're flying the Union Jack. I guess something's still in charge. Prescribed terrorist organization. Official correspondence of BMCG. Since the destruction of Hanwell, you've, uh, we've seen a tenfold increase in activity from its major dysfunctional terror groups in London. Except the future. New British Republican Army. British Royalist Army, Hanwell Rejects. The most notable here is ATF. They are strong and numerous and often spliced with anonymous DNA. Alright, well, I think we need to get ourselves some of that from the sounds of things. All in good time, I guess. Hello. Curious. We have a woman that can appear to disappear and vanish at will. That's probably a cause for concern. It's more bullets. Gun. People are getting wise. You're going to need a gun. I tried to email you the safe code, but the system is down again. I had to resort to handwriting it and leaving it in the basement stone. Unfortunately, I also had to lock up a burner there. Be careful. So there's a burner in the basement. Dan, people are getting wise. You're going to need a gun. I tried to email you the safe code, but the system's down again. Why? Why was that an audio log and a log that we can pick up and read? That's curious. I get the feeling there's going to be a perfect game for a lot of missed um, items. Have you not wondered why we are using equipment from the fucking 90s? I put in a request for IT upgrades. You should do the same. Why here in admin do we get this old shit when AC get all their fancy new gear? Maybe this note can be an email next time, Sam. Oh, that's why there's all these... handwritten letters everywhere. Okay. Hannah Myers, sex female, nursing assistant, ward lobby key. Reason for replacement, lost it whilst on the... Oh, lost it whilst on the toilet. Action denied. Advise that Hannah goes to find the key for security reasons. So she lost her key on the toilet. I mean, that sounds impressive. Okay. As long as we um, have a decent supply of batteries, we should be fine. Yeah, this the stuttering in this game is already kind of not great. Can we, like, lock it to 60, maybe? Do we really have to lock a game to 60 FPS to get rid of stuttering? No, stuttering's still there. So we've got another first aid kit. We've got plenty of first aid kits. Um, 
We are going to need an awful lot of batteries as well, by the look of things. Okay. So we need to go into the basement. That can be arranged. And I'm going to be honest, I'm already kind of feeling lost. Hello. Calm down, love. It's all going to be fine as soon as I get a gun. As soon as I get a gun, we're going to be laughing. Okay, so we can go that way, we can go that way, and there's still, like, another way back there that I haven't been. So, the toilet. Is this where she lost the key? Well, looks like somebody disposed of themselves, which is curious. Uh, okay. So, again, the light is flickering, and it's on... It's still not exactly empty yet. Or well, the battery isn't. Ray, hang on. So keep your distance. No, uh, no eye contact. Raise the alarm. Hide if you can. If you cannot hide, you may need to fight. Contact your nearest ministry. Uh, okay. So we might have to fight these things. We are armed. We are armed with our foot. Have an awful lot of. I kind of want to go backwards to see if we missed anything back here. We've got an awful lot of rooms to explore, so I guess that's kind of what they were saying. By its open ended, non linear exploration, which is fine. But I'm not sure how well that's going to gel with this sort of gameplay. Especially with the possibility that you can use up all of your batteries in what would seem to be, to be honest with you, fairly quick order. Okay. Evening. Anybody home? Any more weird stuff going on? No? A tab. A severed index finger. It looks fresh. Okay, well, I guess we can't take that with us. It does make a satisfying sloshy sound when you pick it up. Wait, is there something on the index finger? Like, we can't... No, we can't turn it around. Okay. I did wonder if we have to, like, grab that and use it on a finger reader or something, but... Probably not. We definitely need to find something to open these doors. Yeah, block from the other side. Alright, so I'm, I'm actually going to guess that these open up the way that we came. Uh, the other side. Interesting. So I think it's going to be um, one of those games where you can continuously like open up new paths. Kind of almost Metroidvania, which is cool. So... We were going through here, weren't we? Okay. Ah, female toilets. Well, I'm guessing we're going to need some fresh batteries for that. Can we not? How do we? There we go. So, she lost her key in the toilet. For reasons. Oh, hello. Come here, you little cunt. He's gone. I wanted to step on him. Okay. Well, I mean, there's the key. I don't know how you... Managed to lose that ward lobby key. Now, wherever that little crotch goblin has got to, can't kick that through. 
All right. So, let's put the torch down. Oh, so that's... Okay. Royal Hampshire. Oh. Evening. Definitely something not great happened here. You can tell by all the red lights you see. Uh, and the blood also. Oh, Royal Hampshire. So what have we got here? I've given reception access to the gas flow pipes by the main entrance. I don't understand why they were built here in the first place. People can't be trusted not to smoke near the damn thing. If you see any embers, switch off the gas. Be careful around it. The pipes are to be reinforced next month. Right now they're delicate. A stray bullet or even a knock in the wrong place could bust it wide open. Ooh. Okay. Gas flow near the entrance. Shoot causes fire. Got you. Theatre and containment. Dear all, I usually like to take hands off approach to all ministry. However, recent events cannot be ignored. Yeah, we've already read that. I'm kind of invested in the world and what's going on. Kind of. Can't get out this way, but this stuff looks flammable. Yes, next to this big, big red gas pipe. Okay, I'm not 100% sure how safe that's going to be lighting that up, but, you know, whatever. Got all these cameras everywhere. Always nice to know that uh, you're being watched. Kind of makes you feel safer, right? You know, if I really wanted to feel safe, I'd have a 45 in the old back pocket. So I don't know who we are. I don't know if we're a patient. I don't know if we're... I just sworn I heard footsteps. But we're not my own. Yeah, I don't know if we're a patient, if we're someone who works here, what? Hick cup lemonade. Yeah, lemonade would go down quite nicely, I would say. Well, we're not going through there. Now, is this the store cupboard? store cupboard that has a burner in it whatever a burner is nope this looks like the cafeteria well maybe we can grab a bite to eat or something certainly something making some noise Yeah, the atmosphere is excellent. I will say that. Not so sure about necessarily the rest of the game so far, but early days. Right, we can't kick our way through that door. But that sounds like it leads back to the corridor. The red corridor. We can't go back through that way. Son of a bitch. I don't know what enemy spawns are like. Whether they're kind of like randomized or certain trigger points. I guess we're not going through there. Alright. I think a map would go down very, very well here. Linwood. Oh. Looks like we have one of those MRI machines. 
more bullets, which is good. You know, I'd rather have the gun. We've got 11 bullets, which admittedly doesn't sound like a lot. And obviously we get a shotgun as well at some point. Okay. A roach got out of containment yesterday. We did manage to get it back, but there was shit flying everywhere and it was a pain in the ass. Make sure all these articles are secured and fastened. It probably won't happen again, but if it does, you will be thanking me for this advice. A witch. I'm guessing that's what we bumped into earlier. It, at least it looks like bullets don't take up inventory space. So yay for that, I guess. So I guess we can possibly activate the MRI at some point. Maybe. Anna, I understand we shouldn't take on healthy patients, but most are not healthy. This is our issue. As you say, people are dying and people are hungry. I feel like this is an issue that resolves itself. We should speak in person. Meet me in the kitchen at lunch. I've asked Alex to join us. Keep an open mind. Thanks, Mort. Okay, so Mort wants to feed patients, well, patients, I guess. So I don't know whether this hospital that we're in is cut off, maybe? Happy anniversary to Dr. Linwood. And then, yeah. Evening. The bloody hell's going on in here. I mean, honestly. Patient ID two two five nine uh, was that two two nine five four eight nine nine name Jordan Barker age twenty nine male examination September fifth twenty twenty two radiologist Doctor L Linwood skeletal structure the ribs appear unusually dense with evidence of additional intercoastal ossifications forming a lattice-like pattern across the chest wall. The, cav the cavicles are hypertrophied and display an abnormal curvature. Lung fields. There is an anonymous vascular pattern uh, noted in the lung fields, possibly due to the presence of auxiliary respiratory structures integrated in uh, with primary lung tissues. The functionality of these structures remains unclear. The X-ray reveals significant abnormalities in skeletal and potentially visceral structures, which are believed to be the direct consequence of the patient's anonymous DNA sequence. Further, multi multidisciplinary evaluation and genetic studies are warranted to comprehend the full spectrum of the patient's condition and to tailor a personalized healthcare plan. Okay. So are these mutants just kind of give them some pills and sent on their way? I don't know, man. Sounds a little bit like Theme Hospital to me. Dan and Anna, December 07. Aww. They're dead now. We're getting a lot of pistol ammo. Which on one hand is great, but... On another hand... I uh, kind of like a gun. You know? Just saying... Okay, so that's the way we... Ah, there's the safe. Okay. The Ministry have rolled out a new anonymous activity notice board. They want at least one in every room. We can expect more of this nonsense now they're taking over. As if we don't know how to deal with anonymies. Well, okay, well, you know how to deal with them, but I don't. I guess we just shoot them. 
Dan, I don't think I'll need to stress to you how important that it is that nobody enters the kitchen, but you, me, Alex and Mort. We've been running TRH as a family for 10 years. This would end us all, justified or not. I locked the key in the safe. The code is our anniversary. 07, Anna. What was it? Ah, oh, shit. When was their bloody anniversary? It was... 07. Settle down. I'll have a gun in a minute, mate. Although, that's not the... Uh, safe with the gun in it, though, is it? If I remember correctly. So... It was happy... Happy anniversary. 1207. 1207, I guess. 1207. And if that ain't it, I don't know. So. Yay. There's the key. Kitchen key. So we can find out what's been going on. How many bodies they've been serving. Done. I don't think I need to stress to you how important it is that nobody enters the kitchen but you, me, Alex and Mo. We've been running the age as a family for 10 years. This would end us just if... Yeah, I don't know why um, you can read the notes and you can listen to them. It seems a bit redundant to me. But I don't know. But then possibly, I suppose... Um, it's, you know, important notes are also voiced just in case you're, you know, don't speak English or something, I guess. I'm not 100% sure. But then if you don't speak or read English, then you're probably not going to be able to understand English either. So, I don't know, man. Is that supposed to be a big reveal, big shock that they've been serving people? Pretty sure we... That was obvious. Oh, it's a crowbar. That's going to allow us into significantly more rooms. Now that is a mixing aid. Meat slicer. Very nice. All right. Evening. He's seen better days. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that, actually. Although I suggested this solution out of absolute necessity, I would never have imagined that I would grow to enjoy this flavor. So these guys have been eating, um, eating the patients, uh, the mutated and sick, dead patient bodies. Yes, yes, I'm sure this did not have any kind of uh, unfortunate or unforeseen bearing on their mental condition. So using weapons causes them to wear. Keep an eye on your weapons. If it starts to look extremely bloody and rusted, might be time to find a new one or it may break when you need it most picking up a new weapon will drop the old one uh no i mean that's that, that's one thing that annoys me in these games like do you know how hard it is to break a crowbar it's pretty hard right it, it's it, yeah it's not easy like you could probably bludgeon a million people to death with one crowbar So, right attack. All right. Come at me, you maggot. What is he through here? Oh, great. All right. Medkit. Just a medkit, huh? Right, come on. Let's be having ya. 
Time attacks just right to execute power attacks. Try left, right, left with half second pause between each attack. Try different combinations for different outcomes. Block by holding down both. Okay. All right. So where is this? Thing. Come to Papa. I'm going to squish your pretty little brains out. Come on. Don't be shy. Just you and me. You and me, my friend. Wait. We're back at the beginning, aren't we? Yeah. Back at the beginning with the flicky switch. Yeah, that's where we came from. Okay, cool. So I guess we're going to go back the way now, but we can now open all of the doors with our fancy new crowbar, which apparently is going to wear out. Evening, sweet cheeks. It's still got that awful, like, blur effect. All right, this is where we need it to be. Evening. Thought there was supposed to be a burner in here. Oh, the door shut. Have the molds off, I guess. Son of a... Hello? Still nothing. Go through here. Knock, knock, motherfucker. But I hope something happens soon because I'm almost out of time. I do like the fact that we can just kick doors open, a lot of doors anyway. It's cool. Because you would have thought, you know, in reality you would be able to just kick a lot of the doors open. Yeah, I guess not every single door, but a large portion of them. Okay. I just want to see how combat feels. Okay, so now we're back to kind of where we were. Probably not a great idea to start poking at the pipe with this. Probably only going to end in um, a fiery, flamey death. Really? Not even a single gribbler yet? That's going to lead us back through there. Oh, we're kind of... Mm. Do we need to go, like, all the way back to the beginning? Hmm. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's go back to the beginning. Um, I'm guessing that there's a door somewhere that I need to crane open that I have just straight up forgotten to crane open somewhere. I mean, there was a little bastard. Oh, there was a little bastard that broke through there. Uh, yeah, I had to interrupt this video to watch the uh, Xbox 
podcast. You know, remember when everyone said uh, last week that Xbox was coming to an end and all their games are going third party? And I just rolled my eyes. Yeah, yeah, it's not happening. Right, so we went in there. And we found, like, nothing. So, let's go all the way back to the beginning and see if there was something down here that we could wedge open. Now, yeah, because, yeah, we already went down here and wedged something open, didn't we? Okay. Yeah, I think what's going to kill this game for me personally is the lack of a map. Wait, was there a door in here that we could open up? I could have sworn, but maybe not. No. All right, so let's go. Ooh. Ah. That's where we can get so... Here's the basement down here. So do we have to come back down here? There's obviously something that I've missed. And I'm guessing enemies aren't just... Ah, yes. Yes. Here we go. Open says me. So there's a burner in here, apparently, whatever a burner is. There's our fuse. Okay, 1289. Okay, safe in office one. If you're here, you must have seen my notes. Nobody would be stupid enough to come in here. Yeah, okay. 1289. 1289. Ooh. Oh, hello. Anything? So there are lock boxes that can have nothing in. That's curious. Aha! There you are. Come at me, fool! Oh! Wait, you hit me through the wall. Ah, you little bitch. That's no good. Ridiculous. Well, okay, so that apparently you don't get the option to throw. It just appears to fly through the air as soon as you push E. Alright, that's potentially a waste. Right, you little fucktard. Let's be having ya. Yeah? What do you think of that? You enjoy that? You like that, did you? Dick. Okay. Right, now... 1289. 1289. Remember that? Because I'm going to forget it. 1289. 1289. There we go. Guns and ammo are scarce in the UK. Huh. Yes. Be wary of how much you shoot and remember to keep count. You don't want to hear nothing but a click in the middle of a fight. Yep. Yeah, I guess so. Alright, so we've got our handgun. We can put that in. And that leads down. But there was also this pipe back here that apparently we can shoot. So let's go back and try that. Got to try and remember where that pipe was now. That's, of course, if I can remember. 
where the door was. I'm sure there was a... Oh man, I'm just gonna get like so lost in this place. Was it over the other side? Ah, uh, yeah, this game would really, wait a minute, benefit from having a map system. This looks like it. All right, let's light this thing up. Well. Okay. I guess we can't destroy that then. Maybe that's something we have to do later on. Um, possibly not in the demo though. All right, let's go back downstairs. Which was this way. I remember. Now I know we usually try and keep these videos short, but I'm actually kind of having a reasonably good time with this now. I think the, I think the combat's okay. Still getting a lot of stuttering, which I'm not happy with. But the combat certainly does feel all right. So, that works apparently. Clearance not detected. Ooh. Hello. Should we go through there or should we go through here first? Let's keep the peace close. Keep a tight grip. Ooh. Evening. Oh, fuck. That actually made me jump. <laughs> Holy shit. That genuinely made me jump. So where has she gone? So that is the clearance that we need. Not often a game makes me jump, you know? Oh, hello. Calm down, love. Calm down. Jesus. All right. Let's get this. Let's get this done. Nasty bit of business. Yeah, she is very magnetic. You know... Oh, God. Is she dead? Nope. Stick and move, bitch. So there's the witch. I wonder if that's the witch that we saw. Early on. I had to look behind me there because my cat is up to something. Okay, you know, I don't mind the combat in this game. It's all right. It does remind me of Condemned, actually. So when everything goes a little bit crazy, that's when you know you've got a witch on your hands. What's the bet in some of these things are? Well, not dead. Oh, we had a bad time. This thing. No, this... Ooh. Ooh. I like it. Okay. So guns are definitely more effective. All right. Uh, it's a shame they're not interactive. So I don't know how much, like, health I have. At all. Ah. Control panel. So how do we open? The director wanted to build the new containment facility under the hospital for a reason. 
we have always and will have the best means of dealing with anonymous entities and people. Stop complaining and do your job. This is more than a hospital now. Hmm. Okay. So, now what? And now where do we go? We got the fire axe now. Ah, wait. Do we need... Was the fire axe... So we can chop our way... Out of the building up here. Out the front door thing that we got going on. I like those witches. Kind of interesting enemies, actually. So... It's not that way we want to go, it's this way. I'm guessing now we're going to get a few more enemies spawning. Would make sense. Um, so we need to go... Is it through here? Nope. Just going to go take my axe for a walk. Ah, it was through here, wasn't it? Here we go. So I'm guessing... Ah! A gasp... Oh, no. Hmm. Alright, well, we're on basically an hour now, so I think we're going to leave it here. I'm enjoying this. Uh, I wasn't too keen on it in the first, like, half an hour when nothing was really happening. But now I've got a bit of a taste of the action. The action's all right, actually. The melee feels good. And I like the way that when you go into a melee combat situation with an enemy, as long as you're doing the combos, <clears throat> you kind of lock onto them. And it's fast. It's really fast and fluid. Um, from a health standpoint, I have no idea how much health we've used. I would assume that we're actually reasonably damaged, but I, I don't know. But there's no real indication of how much health we've taken. And the gunplay as well seems, you know, seems fine. The atmosphere is very, very nice. You know, um, it's easy for to be kind of lured into a false sense of safety. But it's kind of like I get I'm getting the Resident Evil sort of vibe, you know, where you can go through a section and there's no enemies. But once you've hit certain game trigger points, I guess a few enemies may spawn. I don't think it's going to be the sort of game that just throws random enemies at you. Like, say, if I stand here for 10 minutes, I don't think an enemy is going to come along and get me. Um, I think the, the graphics are fine. The story is uh, odd. You know, I'm not really sure what's happening in this world. I do wonder if this is some kind of sequel. Uh, it almost feels like a sequel, you know. Uh, and there is a lock on as well when you hold down the um, left button. You do kind of lock sort of onto the enemy, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, I yeah, this this was all right. I don't know if I would play it. I mean, maybe I would. I don't know. I think a game like this, it's all going to depend on the price. I think if it's a fair price, you know, I wouldn't pay, you know, 60, 70 quid for this game. But I think if this drops at like 20, maybe I'd give it a go. Huh. Yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.